Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to copy iTunes playlists to a USB drive for use in a car stereo. So I'm using the Windows version of iMusic, but this will also work on the Macintosh version too. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make a playlist. Now we can do that in iMusic as well, but uh, just here, let's do it in um, iTunes. So we can um, right click here and go new playlist, or you can click file, new playlist. So car playlist, do that. And I'm just gonna add a couple of songs by dragging and dropping, or you can uh, right click, add the playlist and choose whatever you want from there. I'm just gonna take some of these songs uh, that I got through iMusic and put them on my playlist. Beautiful. So now I've got this playlist here uh, with five songs on it, and that is there. So the next thing we wanna, uh, we're gonna want to do is go on iMusic, and uh, the link will be on your screen now, and you can use uh, this website to download iMusic. So uh, following that, just install the software. I'm gonna switch back over to iMusic. Switch. Once that's all loaded in, go to the toolbox section of iMusic. And then the next step is to click on the car playlist option. So I'm gonna click that now. I've got a USB drive here plugged in. And what I can do is I can pick either the entire library or just select any number of playlists that I would like to put in. So what I'm gonna do now is just put that car playlist onto the USB drive by clicking transfer. One, two, three, four, five. That's all done. Nice and simple. Okay, excellent. And now that's going to be transferred to the USB drive to its own folder with a .m3u file um, transported on there for you. Uh, let's have a look, there you go. Which means that uh, Car Stereo will be able to read that playing through just a plug-in USB. So that's really useful for getting your music onto a USB drive to play in the car. And um, this works on the Macintosh and Windows versions. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been Comrade and uh, we'll speak to you next time.